Good afternoon. Uh, uh, due to technical difficulties last night, uh, my budget presentation is now recorded. So I'm going to redo it again today so that the uh, public can see it. Um, first, thank you, everyone who came out last night, everyone who's here today. Uh, I uh, just want to go over the general fund, the highway fund, as you can see. Um, tax levy uh, together, it will reduce the rate of uh, taxes for 2023. The general fund is reduced by a negative 103. Highway fund went up 8%, therefore, leaving a minus 183 cent. Uh, and we are going to be under the tax cap by $121,000. This is good. We're reducing, reducing taxes. Um, uh, and thanks to our assessor and the department, the assessor department, who have done the due diligence to uh, make sure that our assessment stayed did not increase. And later on, over here, we will um, we will show you how the assessment has increased over the last uh, ten years. That's as you can see here, uh, this is uh, approximately some of the tax cuts that are going to happen. Uh, with the new house, it will be a minus 26, all the house minus 15, candles, and all the candles. Uh, based on the British, uh, the proposed um, rates that are going to taxes. Uh, also, in times coming up, uh, I think it's a good time for the town to be conservative. Uh, financially, and as we go more into the presentation, I will show you how we have done to be more conservative. As you can see, over the last 10 years, the assessment in the town of Walker has increased. So, being an increase, we are able to assess and collect more uh, taxes and we over the taxes for um, the residents of Walker. Again, we don't know what the future is going to be. Therefore, uh, I thought it was a good time to uh, present the budget where we could uh, lower taxes. And coming up with this new year, we have Adams, uh, the apartments on East Main Street, and the apartments at the residence on West Hill. Those three projects are huge projects that are coming up with the tax law in 2023. Next. Some of the new conditions and changes we're doing. So we're adding two new full-time police officers. And I, I want to be clear, we are not just filling the vacancy that we have, we are increasing the number of police officers in the town of Walker by two. Not just filling vacancy that we have vacancy, we are creating two new full-time positions for the police department. And you know, we'll get more into that in a little bit in regards to TV. What's going on in the world, you know, crime and security, the big, big important issues that are going on now. Um, we're going to bring back the court attendance to our courts so that the police officers who are assigned to the courts can focus on what they need to, which is security. You know, we have a busy court and we need our police officers to find there to focus on security, the court attendance to uh, focus on the court administration part of it. Um, animal control, a uh, big part of our uh, town with you know, more people moving out, more residents. There are more incidents with um, animals. So we're going, to, I'm proposing that our animal control officer become a full time position. Also, we are invited and continuing to next year with our principal conquest, the council department, and in planning. Again, with our town growing, um, and our planning and zoning assessment, we've got to add this position. As you can see, this past level, um, SP still maintain our double A rating, which is very strong uh, capacity for us to meet our financial uh, commitments, which the town is. Our filming project at the town, uh, our DPW, um, have done a lot of paving. Back in, uh, I believe, a year or two ago, we purchased our own paving. Um, paper and where do I want to pay? 
Come on the street you did do this year are Clans Road, Amy Lane, Marie Lane, Greenwood Terrace, and Old Thomas Road. So, as you can see, um, the, our DPW or Highway Department is out there um, doing the work. Next. Next is we are increasing the water sewer rate by a nickel. We are still one of the lowest um, municipality that our sewer and water rate I love. Uh, for 2023, our total water from rate will be $5.90 per uh, thousand gallon, and our addition uh, rate will be $2.20 per thousand gallon. Next, grants. Um, grants are important for the town. Um, thanks to uh, Michelle Baker, as you can see, Michelle Baker is in the highway department who takes care of all the grants for the town. Um, and she has helped me you know, facilitate the paperwork for the grant. And as you can see, there have been numerous, numerous grants that have been given to the town over the years. This past year, um, I was able to secure a million dollars from the state, um, from Senator Scoofit and uh, Family Woman Hunter, so the different projects that we have in the town. Um, some of those projects are um, the door park. The door park will be completed in 2020. Um, three or the open. Um, I just did the paperwork for that. We're going to get $50,000 back from the state for the golf cart. And we're going to upgrade the playground equipment at Washington Heights and Circleville uh, Playground, um, which is good. One of the things is um, when I got into office, I thought it was important. Um, we have the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall at the park. Um, right off on um, Highland Avenue extension, and we need to do this more. This is our war, our part. I was um, able to secure the funds to complete the war. So we're getting $175,000 again from uh, the state um, to complete this war, and hopefully within the next year or two, this war will be complete, which I think is important. Uh, next, we have pickleball courts. Um, a lot of uh, our seniors, a lot of uh, uh, people play pickleball. That's the new thing. So we decided to ask a pickleball court at Stephen Avenue Park. Um, again, with grants and funds that we got from the state. Um, right now, it's being built, and it should be ready to go in 2023. Next, the dollar bus. Um, we have, I believe, six. And we're looking to get two more buses. I think we do, we got them already. And two buses sit out here um, and take a view from the elements um, year round. So, one of the things I, I wanted to do, along with the funds from the state, using some funds from the opera, we're going to build uh, a garage to store our dollar bus where our drivers will have an office, a uh, restroom. They can go there, and our buses will be out of the element as we last one. Next, security, the PD. When I came into office, um, I noticed that we didn't have body cams. Um, and again, we're using speaking to the state, uh, the VA's office, where we will be getting body cams for all our patrol officers, um, hopefully starting in 2023. Um, I think it's important that you know body cams are done. One of the other things I'm looking at doing for the PD is that these police officers come here, park their vehicles, and go out and protect our communities. And they need to know that when they come off tour, when they get here, they're going to be safe. We've had incidents where people have gone to the back of the police building, taking pictures of, of the officers, taking pictures of their personal vehicles. That's not good. So we're going to um, have an installation of fencing around the uh, police department in the court area. Again, this is being done through grants. Um, one of the other things that we're looking at, we're going to have a full-time police officer signed to build a name for security. Um, my employees need to feel safe also when they come to work. Um, crime, you know, everybody's moving up, it's happening everywhere. So I need to, my employees 
the town hall need to be safe, and when the residents come up to town hall, they need to feel safe. We're also going to add a um, full time police dispatcher. Um, you might recall that I dealt with some of the residents uh, and some of uh, our dispatchers. So we're going to have three full time, two to three full time dispatchers that are going to be trained and going to be the mentors and train the part timers who come in so we can have what I like to say is good customer service for our residents or any visitors that come into our building or make a call into our 911. So we're also going to be purchasing three new police vehicles um, because vehicles um, after a long time, a lot of miles, you know, three tours, uh, we need new vehicles. So one main thing that I want to focus is that we're lowering the taxes for the residents and we're focusing on crime, security, and what's best for time walk field and the record. With that, thank you for listening. Hope to see you in the public hearing. If you want to come today, there's a public hearing today at 725. Thank you. Have a good day.